congratulations, you finally got the meeting with the client. Now it's time for rubber to hit the road. This is the most critical part of the entire sales cycle. We need to take the client on a fantastic journey. And we're not going to do this just by winging it. We're going to do this by preparing the right questions that we want to ask. Where are you wanting to take your client and how are you going to frame the questions to take them along that journey? Spend that time preparing and you will be creating crazy value for your client. Okay, so for our meeting with Teresa next Wednesday, we have these questions right now and yeah, let's pick the best leading questions mm -hmm. for next week. Um, what do you think of this one? What are your potential challenges in finding clients right now? That is a good one. Um, let's maybe think of um, a good way to bring that question, um, to give it a bit more of a feel, to, to bring that into discovering their ideal state. Mm, maybe what are your expansion goals for 2020? Yeah, I do like that. Again, the big dream, right? The ideal state, it brings it there. Yeah, yeah. How about, why is this rebrand important to you? That one might be a little vague. I do like it, like I, I, we do need to ask that, but I think again, we need to um, dig a little deeper. I guess we'll know once we ask the band questions, mm -hmm. exactly what services they need. Oh, how about this one? Why do you think your company is not getting any new clients? Well, that is a very good one. That's awesome. That's actually, that kind of creates that element, that gives an element of fear, right? Definitely creates a good, a strong emotional response. The experience that he's going to get with us is definitely going to be better than what he was getting from the previous agency that he worked with, right? So yeah, that is again, value creation, added value. Hey Mark, do you have time to talk about that new client? Yeah, absolutely guys, come on in. Hey guys. You ready for this? Yeah, you bet. Right off the bat I'm thinking, we need to know how many users they have, uh, we've got to look at uh, their application base and we need to think about uh, like whether they have servers, workstations and so on. So we need to create maybe a, a list of questions that we can ask, we can come back and create a proposal for them. Any other thoughts? I believe that this client would be a great candidate for a cloud-only deployment utilizing our new LAN cloud services. The size of the client and the tools and utilities that they've indicated they'd like to use dictates that they would be best suited by removing all physical infrastructure and simplifying what they do in-house and leaving the rest of it up to us. The cloud is obviously the future for our industry, for our business, and that's great questions too, so we'll be sure to put that in the proposal. Andrew's right. I think that given all the remote offices that these guys have, getting them to go with the LAN cloud solution will be the best value. I have a question about this client's potential long-term strategy and the goals that they have set for themselves, and whether or not we can assist them in any way in those areas. That's a good point, Andrew, because relationship is, is key for us. It's what we, what we build our business on, so absolutely, we'd be, those are some good questions to ask. Value creation. Value is a pretty tricky subject uh, in our industry in dealing with our customers because we deal with customers that are wanting to genuinely give back to the community, to make a difference, to make an impact. But at the same time, they want something more from the money that they're giving back to the community. So it's this fine line between giving back, but yes, also getting more value for the company. A great example of a client that we worked with recently is a large national bank that came to us and said, Jay, we're giving away this money to charity anyway, but we want to engage our clients. What can we do? So as opposed to just uh, blindly working with them and, and signing them up for a campaign on our platform, we started to ask them questions. What do they want to accomplish? What have they done previously when they gave away money? What were the biggest challenges? So we really dug into the problem with them to understand what was wrong before 
and what they're trying to accomplish now. And that really helped us create an immense amount of value through our platform and engaging their clients and creating community awareness for them, which were their two top goals in working with us. The powerful answers your clients are going to give you in the meeting are going to be entirely dependent on the powerful questions that you ask of them. Ensure your questions don't just touch on the logical reasons on why someone needs to move forward, but how does it feel? Why is that important? When we invite emotion into the questioning sequence, this will turn a simple sales cycle into one that closes even faster. I'm Kim Orleski and I'm ready for you to become our next sales knockout. Come check us out online and on our website.